This dude is scary. He is likely the most unethical doctor that I've ever seen. Ah! There's a heavy pattern going on with this guy. Your perfection, now take off your clothes. Dr. Kenny sent over coordinates for her to meet him in a Walmart parking lot. The other women are terrified to speak up because he's threatened that he knows where they live. A former employee of Dr. Kenny has finally spoken out. I think that we are dealing with like a literal psychopath. I don't think he's afraid right now. One word to describe my office, real. Well, okay, two words, because unprofessional. I can no longer publicly support Dr. Kenny. I have to be perfect for every out there. Why? Because I literally care about every person. He's literally just a psychopathic freak. You've just turned 18. He's finally agreed to see you. He pulls out his phone and begins recording you. He asks you about your story. As you start telling him about yourself, you begin to feel woozy and soon you are no longer in control of your movements. The next thing you remember is your mouth filling with vital fluid. You rush to the bathroom to rinse out your mouth. Crimson fills the sink. There's no way there should be that much. Inspecting your mouth in the mirror, you see that all of your teeth have been filed down to the size of grains of rice. Distraught with horror, you run back to the doctor. He offers you a back massage to calm down. Afraid he won't finish your teeth if you say no? You agree. You try to check your phone, but it's dead. He says there's a charger in his office. You follow him there. Once inside, the dentist pulls out a wad of cash and asks how much it would cost to get intimate with you. That's when you run. This is a story that goes beyond internet drama. The physical and mental well-being of real people are involved and serious allegations were made. As always, it is our utmost priority to remain as unbiased as possible while reporting on events. But if the traumatic events covered in this video are true, then we believe three things are very clear. One, the women involved are victims of heinous crimes and deserve to have their voices heard. Two, sexual harassment must continue to be denormalized. The abuse that many of these women endured was either ignored or passed off as just jokes. And three, the man allegedly responsible has chosen to prioritize his desires over the health and safety of the people he took an oath to protect, and therefore must be brought to justice. But one last thing before we get into the issue. Adequately presenting every side of a story this big takes a lot of time and effort. And without viewers like you watching and sharing our videos, making investigations like this wouldn't be possible. Dr. Kenneth Wilstead, known as Dr. Kenny Smiles on social media, has long been a polarizing figure. Self-described as the politically incorrect dentist, the 43-year-old was known for his edgy humor that some of his over 1 million followers accumulated across TikTok and Instagram saw as a part of his charm and others, well, something they could look past for one of his legendary smile makeovers. I love him so much. After all, at Dr. Kenny's Garland, Texas-based practice of Smile Again Dental, where he worked alongside his wife of over 20 years and three adult children, the dentist's personal mission was changing lives one smile at a time. But was Dr. Kenny changing his patients' lives for better or for worse? See, from an outside perspective, it sure looked like the dentist was doing a good thing. In fact, it could be argued Dr. Kenny was approaching social media's version of sainthood after he posted a casting call on August 31st for his new reality show where he planned to give away his signature smiles pro bono. To enter, all hopeful candidates had to do was post a video explaining their story under Dr. Kenny's hashtag. Okay, the hashtag is DKS casting, not casting couch. So be aware. <laughs> I mean, if you want to send one of those, it just your account might be canceled. <laughs> and with that, the floodgates had officially opened as thousands of prospective patients began sounding off across social media. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm 32 years old and I lost all my teeth at 23. I am from a little small town in Kentucky where I grew up. I grew up on a horse farm with my family. 
I would say my dental problems started there, you know, growing up. Hi, my name is Madison. I'm 24 years old. I am from Texas, and this is my audition for Dr. Kenny's Smile. Little did these women know, attracting the attention of Dr. Kenny allegedly came at a cost. Taylin Pico knew better than to pass up an opportunity for free dental work after she'd previously been told fixing her teeth could set her back $60,000. So the 27-year-old applied to Dr. Kenny's contest, and to her surprise, the dentist responded. But what first seemed like an unimaginable stroke of luck for Taylin was quickly revealed to be one of misfortune when she read Dr. Kenny's alleged message. Please send me 10 more pictures of your size, shape, and stuff like that, please. This show is about a lot of things beyond teeth, so that will help me. The screenshot Taylin posted to TikTok read, Clothing optional. This is absolutely disgusting on so many levels, but I just want to say that if you're entering into this giveaway, just know that it's about more than just teeth, supposedly. So it seemed Dr. Kenny's reality show had invited more than just attention to his practice, but a virtual reckoning. And even those who had once championed the dentist were compelled to support the cause. Ophelia Nichols, known as Mama Tot to her over 12 million TikTok followers, had previously teamed up with Dr. Kenny to create the contest Mama Tot Smiles after rejecting the dentist's offer to fix her broken tooth for free. I said, could you please give my spot to somebody else? And Dr. Kenny says, I'll do that, but I'll give it to free people. But after seeing Taylin's video, it appeared the TikToker wasn't on such friendly terms with Dr. Kenny. After what I just saw, I can no longer publicly support Dr. Kenny. At all, actually. And Mama Tot wasn't the only one that felt betrayed. TikToker Chelsea Marie had been hand-selected from the Mama Tot Smiles contest to receive her own brand new pair of pearly whites. I know it's late, Chelsea, but I wanted to personally congratulate you on this. I'm super excited to work with you and, and to make that smile permanent. So I'll be ready for some fun. And while Dr. Kenny's trademark offensive humor was on full display during her appointment, Oh my gosh, your teeth actually match your jacket. They do. Yes, they do. <laughs> a little brown and white. You ever, like, kissed a guy in those? Yeah. My boyfriend every day. You kiss your boyfriend with those in? That was a man for life. That, that he is. Yeah, you're going to get f***ed for the first time for sure. <laughs> Take him out. The striking before and after made Chelsea's passing humiliation seem worth it. Try not to look, like, completely... During this whole thing. But after seeing the messages Taylin had allegedly received, the TikToker no longer felt inclined to excuse Dr. Kenny's serious lack of bedside manner that seemed to thrive off of the power imbalance between the dentist and his patients. Just because you have money does not mean you can talk to people how you talk to people. There are people out here who are sensitive. I am sensitive. Did I act sensitive whenever I got my teeth fixed? No, because at the end of the day, I was getting a free smile and I wasn't going to p*** your cornflakes. After posting this TikTok, Chelsea claimed she received paragraphs upon paragraphs from Dr. Kenny, who allegedly accused her of twisting what had been a fun time to destroy him, despite the fact that he was no monster and she was clearly no angel. He's trying to point fingers, play the blame game, and gaslight me into thinking I did something wrong when I did nothing wrong. Indeed, according to social media, it was Kenny who was in the wrong. And as accusations against the dentist mounted, one TikToker made it her mission to bring these stories to light. Becca Day had become the go-to source for any Dr. Kenny-related allegations, testimonies her inbox was clearly brimming with. According to stories from her sources, these alleged interactions with the dentist often took on a schoolyard dynamic, with Dr. Kenny playing the bully and the potential clients his next target. One instance of this allegedly included the dentist messaging a woman that she had to lose weight if she wanted to be on his show. Did he forget he looked like this? On another occasion, Dr. Kenny allegedly resorted to bad-mouthing a potential client after she ended up going with another dentist. And he commented, she was on my schedule and canceled. It looks like she found a better deal. And this is where I was like, okay, this is so unprofessional. And one woman even produced a screenshot that appeared to show Dr. Kenny telling her that his show is more than a sad story. And with her, um, size, she didn't fit the bill. In my opinion, this text exchange proves that Dr. Kinney's motives in having this smile giveaway are not based in wanting to do good for others. They are based in him wanting to have easy access to vulnerable young women. After all, according to the other woman who had confided in Becca, Dr. Kenny wasn't just a bully. He was an unwelcome suitor. Or, in the alleged words of the dentist himself, I have a natural S.A. or wit and charm that is hard to turn off. 
around certain people. That's the message one woman claimed Dr. Kenny sent her after she told him she was engaged. He allegedly followed that lineup with a question asking how old her daughter was, writing that she looked really young, but sweet. How did we go from this comment to talking about a little girl? Like, Another woman who claimed to be a Mama Tot Smiles finalist alleged that Dr. Kenny would often message referring to her as his favorite and saying he loved her. Bold declarations, but ones she assumed were in the spirit of friendship until he allegedly messaged her, you're perfection, now take off your clothes. And there were more allegations where those came from. Take, for example, the prospective client whom Dr. Kenny allegedly asked to send explicit photos. When she did not respond to that video of him asking for undressed photos, he went over to her TikTok and followed her there and proceeded to message her at 11 p.m. saying, do you hate me? The TikTok user who was put in a similarly uncomfortable position. The way he spoke to me was so weird. He kept trying to FaceTime me and FaceTime me and FaceTime me. He was just like wanting pictures. Or the young mother who alleged Dr. Kenny joked about her performing adult favors in exchange for dental work before suggesting her trip to Smile Again Dental would involve adult activity with him, writing, what are you wanting done? Besides have with me. No, can't lose my license. Just good old fashioned and rock and roll visit. There was also Annalie Timmerman, a TikTok user whose audition for Dr. Kenny's reality show involved her opening up about her genetic condition, oligodontia, which left gaps in her smile. I hate talking about this so much. This video is for Dr. Kenny Smiled. A week before I turned 15, um, my dentist diagnosed me with a genetic disease called oligodontia. Annalie claimed Dr. Kenny noticed and replied to her submission, leading her to message the dentist. I'm so happy you saw it. Sorry, I'm an ugly crier. But it seemed Annalie had no reason to apologize. According to Dr. Kenny's alleged response, the dentist wasn't put off, not in the least. Just wanted to sleep with you. It's fine, his reply read. When another prospective client sent Dr. Kenny photos of her teeth, Dr. Kenny allegedly hit back with the less than professional line, yeah, I can make you my for sure. He proceeded to allegedly ask the woman for another photo without vagina holders in her mouth. And when she obliged, well, who said Dr. Kenny couldn't get poetic? You are the lighting. You could be behind a dumpster in Mexico at midnight and it would radiate Paris on a cool spring morning, the dentist allegedly responded. The screenshots from the source suggested Dr. Kenny continued to cross the boundaries of what was appropriate for a medical professional to send a prospective client, from dirty messages to inappropriate gifts to further attempts at romantic odes, including lines like, you're not one bit broken, and that he was certain they would be forever something. Eventually, the woman told Becca she cut communication. Dr. Kinney persisted to um, comment on her Instagram photos saying stuff like, you're literally perfect, yep, I'm in love. This man is lost in the sauce. He is off his rocker. But did the intent of Dr. Kenny's alleged messages stop at flirtation? Or was it possible the dentist posed a threat to not only prospective clients, but the woman he'd vowed to love and cherish? This one makes me very concerned for his wife's safety. See, according to one hopeful patient, her conversation with Dr. Kenny began with the simple intention of gathering more information on his services. But of course, that's never where these reports about the dentist end, is it? No, Dr. Kenny allegedly wasted no time messaging the woman that she was literally perfect before writing out a sentence that mirrors the promise of various true crime cases. One day, my wife will catch a really unfortunate illness, and you and I can get married like six months later, okay? Eerie, sure. But perhaps Dr. Kenny was all talk. After all, these allegations came from prospective clients who had never seen the dentist in person. As for those who had been inside Smile Again Dental, well, they had their own stories to tell. One source approached Becca with an experience from four years ago, back when her daughter was 18 and, allegedly, a patient of Dr. Kenny's. According to alleged screenshots of messages between the dentist and the 18-year-old, Dr. Kenny offered the teen Christmas money if she stopped by the office and she agreed. However, after Dr. Kenny allegedly asked how many undressed photos the teen would send him and offered his home address to meet up at, the 18-year-old went to her mother and showed her the private messages Dr. Kenny sent her. Together, they decided the daughter would message Dr. Kenny to express what he had done was SH and could lead to his arrest, considering the teen was his patient. In the message, she also mentioned a conversation they allegedly had in person where Dr. Kenny said he kept a hidden camera in the toothbrush box, along with other uncomfortable moments. You had also talked about me and your daughter's chests and talked about many other inappropriate things in front of not only myself, but my mother as well. This is not in any way okay, but just plain disturbing. I am asking for a full refund for my teeth 
for the lack of respect and making me feel very uncomfortable at all times in your office and in my own home. Dr. Kenny allegedly responded by apologizing for his behavior and offering to reimburse her. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I aim to be a better person who does not ever make anyone feel the way I made you feel, the screenshot read. But according to other allegations, Dr. Kenny never made good on this pledge. One woman told Becca that she visited Smile Again Dental in August 2022. She claimed that during her initial appointment, Dr. Kenny and his team did mold impressions of her teeth, which they left in for 10 minutes to harden. However, the source alleged the removal removal wasn't so seamless. It broke apart inside of her mouth and this young woman breathed in a fragment of this broken off mold, causing her to aspirate. Yet despite the patient choking, Dr. Kenny and his staff chose to do nothing. They just proceeded with her tea. After the appointment, Dr. Kenny allegedly secured the patient's number after asking her to send a photo they posed for together to him. Damn, you're hot as f he allegedly wrote back, a message the patient tactfully ignored. But according to the screenshots, her refusal to respond to his inappropriate comment didn't stop Dr. Kenny. The dentist allegedly asked if he could push the patient's next appointment back by a half hour, writing, if I get a photo, I can wake up a lot faster. When she didn't respond, Dr. Kenny allegedly went back to the originally agreed upon time, writing, I'll see you at eight. After the checkup, the patient flew back home where she waited for her teeth to be finished. However, she claimed Dr. Kenny continued to message her and send videos. Hope you're having a good day. Just got back up my heart got miss you. And there were more where that came from, including an image where his alleged nether regions were on full display. Unfortunately, this patient wasn't the only alleged unwanted recipient of footage that featured Dr. Kenny's genitalia. And from the watch to the couch, the dog, and the wedding band, either this content was indeed shot by Dr. Kenny or it was the work of a deeply committed impersonator. However, when it came to the patient that was waiting for her permanent teeth, Dr. Kenny allegedly asked her to return the favor and resorted to name calling and cursing when she declined. Yet, by the time she was set to fly back to Garland, Texas, Dr. Kenny had apparently forgiven the patient as he allegedly presented her with a new request to stay in the hotel he chose for her. I assume this is where he takes his victims slash patients regularly as it is just down the street from his office. But thankfully, she had already booked her own hotel, so she declined Dr. Kenny's offer to stay at the hotel that he chose for her. But that didn't stop Dr. Kenny from allegedly sending the patient coordinates of where he wanted to meet her before the appointment. It was a Walmart parking lot, or so she thought. Even though she felt uneasy about this, she didn't think she would be unsafe. However, when she arrived at the location, safe was the last thing she felt. After all, this was no suburban parking lot. It was a graveyard. There was no one else around other than Dr. Kenny Smiles. Not wanting to anger him to the point that he wouldn't finish her teeth, she built up the courage to leave her vehicle and greet the dentist. Kenny allegedly proceeded to essay the patient, followed by asking her to meet him at his hotel to sleep with him. When the patient declined, he again allegedly lost his temper. Still, according to the source, they left the graveyard under the terms they would still meet for the scheduled appointment. But Dr. Kenny student called her to let her know that he was going to have to remake her permanent teeth and to come back the next day. So she returned the next day and had her permanence put in, which, to her horror, looked nothing like her temporaries. In the end, the entire ordeal only led to a partial refund. Yet the patient claimed she was plagued with chronic chest pain for the nine months following her initial appointment, leading her to go to a cardiothoracic surgeon for an x-ray and, in turn, surgery, after the fragment she had aspirated on was allegedly found lodged in her lung. Not only is Dr. Kenny a terrible person, he is a negligent dentist, and he needs to have his license stripped ASAP. This man is not safe to be practicing. When one viewer heard Becca tell this woman's story, she was reminded of her own experience with Dr. Kenny Smiles. The alleged former patient had flown out to have her teeth done by Dr. Kenny, who allegedly made the experience uncomfortable by trying to make her sit on his lap while he made her temporaries. He also recommended that I stay in that same comfort inn. I got chills when I watched that TikTok of yours specifically. I'm sure that's where he hooks up with female patients, guilts them into adult activity, she wrote to Becca. When she went for her follow-up appointment, Dr. Kenny allegedly tried to pull her onto his lap and kiss her. Both attempts, she laughed off. 
During her next appointment, she wore comfy clothing, which Dr. Kenny allegedly expressed his dissatisfaction with by telling her, Couldn't you have worn something more scandalous? You have to take a picture with me and you come in here dressed like a homeless person. When she got back to Chicago, she claimed she received a message from the dentist asking her to look through her book. The item that had been left in her suitcase in Dr. Kenny's office while she was getting her teeth done now allegedly contained a handwritten note from the dentist calling her beautiful and telling her not to get distracted by any boyfriends. A clear dig at her partner. I'm speechless. Another alleged victim claimed she was freshly 18 years old when Dr. Kenny agreed to do her teeth on one condition. She had to visit the office outside of business hours. When she walked inside, she realized that she was the only one present in the office there was no other staff present, only Dr. Kenny and her. During the appointment, Dr. Kenny allegedly recorded her and asked her about her story. He then allegedly gave her a sedative, which made the girl feel loopy and not in control of her movements. At one point, she went to the bathroom to rinse her mouth. It was at this time that she realized that Dr. Kenny had shaved her teeth down to the size of a grain of rice. She returned shaken, nerves she claimed Dr. Kenny offered to soothe with a back massage, and feeling powerless, she agreed. In this moment, she describes feeling afraid that if she didn't agree, Dr. Kenny might get angry and not finish her teeth. After he was done, the source claimed she had to borrow Kenny's phone charger, which happened to be in his office. Once inside the room, the dentist allegedly pulled out a wad of cash and asked how much it would cost to touch her inappropriately, leading her to rush out of the building. Unfortunately, she only had her temporaries in, meaning she would have to see Dr. Kenny one last time. The day of the appointment arrived and the dentist allegedly asked her to come to his house because his wife was out of town. According to stories from three other sources, Dr. Kenny inviting women to his home under the premise that his wife wasn't home was a tactic the dentist often employed to try to get his former and potential clients alone, with a Facebook post from a woman by the name of Anna Quinn alleging as much back in 2021. And like these women, the 18-year-old refused the invite at first. Frustrated by her not accepting his invitation, Dr. Kenny began to put pressure on this 18-year-old and began threatening to not finish her teeth unless she came over to his house to hang out. So she went over and was allegedly essayed by the dentist in his home. Poor girl was so terrified after this happened to her that she did not go to her appointment the next morning. Instead, she went to the police station. While a report was filed, charges never were as an officer deemed the situation to be a he said, she said situation. In the end, all the teen left her experience at Smile Again Dental With was lasting gum pain, PTSD, and an aching sense of injustice. However, this isn't to say Kenny hasn't faced any consequences for his alleged transgressions. There are three disciplinary actions listed on Kenny's license page from the Texas Board of Dental Examiners. The first occurred in 2015, following Kenny's 2014 arrest. That's right, Dr. Kenny Smiles was once arrested for possession of a controlled substance by fraud and delivering a prescription for non-dental purposes, including overprescribing a painkiller to a friend and a sleep agent as well as a weight loss agent to his patients and himself. After this arrest, Dr. Kenny temporarily, and never legally, began practicing under his middle name, Edmund, an intentional misrepresentation. So him using a different name than the name that appeared on his dental license is a breach of conduct and completely unethical because he did not want his patients to know that he had been arrested for fraud and overprescribing his patients and writing prescriptions for himself, his family, and his friends. In 2019, he was reprimanded by the board again, this time for abandoning a patient along with failing to meet the minimum standard of care and to make, maintain, and keep adequate records of the treatment of the patient. The outcome of this was the board ultimately just issued him a warning. In 2021, Kenny faced his most recent disciplinary action, again for failing to provide the minimum standard of care and maintain his records, as well as failing to provide a business affidavit. And then there's what occurred just last year. See, before Dr. Kenny was facing this current social media comeuppance, the dentist was sued for medical malpractice by a former patient who alleged the dentist made inappropriate comments, told her he kept photos of patients' cleavage, and S.A.'d her. The case is ongoing, and a jury trial is currently scheduled. But, of course, it wasn't just former and prospective patients that Dr. Kenny had to worry about. An alleged former employee had also come out of the woodwork and was reporting his horror stories from Smile Again Dental straight to Becca Day. The source claimed he worked as Dr. Kenny's video creator for the last months of 2022, 
During his brief employment at Smile Again Dental, he claimed that he inventoried Dr. Kenny's media gear and found hidden cameras in pens, alarm clocks, and items meant to look like Wi-Fi routers and other electronics. He and his wife put the blame on a former videographer of his and saying he was spying on Kenny's daughter. It was believable enough at the time, but I can definitely see how naive I was to his game, the former employee told Becca. His work at Smile Again Dental also gave him further insight into Dr. Kenny, a man he allegedly heard brag about a patient sending him explicit photos, as well as talk about a patient he was head over heels for and seemed to be in some sort of relationship with. His wife is aware of this stuff he does, but she also consistently tells herself she's being crazy and that he wouldn't do that, etc., the former employee alleged. He claimed he set up cameras for an interview when the patient came in to get her teeth done, but Dr. Kenny decided to do the interview himself and sent everyone home at 5 p.m. To this day, I don't know what actually happened with them, the source claimed. All he knew was that the alleged relationship fizzled out after she bailed on a collaboration. Another case the former employee recalled was a girl who went viral for a bad caricature sketch that highlighted the issues with her teeth. He claimed that when Dr. Kenny took her on as a client, he made inappropriate comments, and when the former employee was sent to New Mexico to film her, Kenny called the footage useless because her friends weren't going to get anyone's hard. No, according to the source, Dr. Kenny had something else entirely envisioned for the suit. She was going to walk through the desert in a bikini in mid-December to some Alicia Keys song, He Was Mad I Didn't Get That Shot. Oh my god. One of the last patients before the employee claimed he quit was a woman who looked to be under 25. He alleged during the woman's appointment she had to be taken back to her hotel because Dr. Kenny had given her something that made her nauseous. The former employee allegedly left soon after that, so the rest of that patient's experience at Smile Again Dental remained a mystery. However, the source alleged he didn't just leave his job with memories of Dr. Kenny's wrongdoings, but a secret audio recording of the dentist berating a staff member. So unimpressed with your professional I, yeah. ability. What is it? Unimpressed with everything else that you have to offer. Truly, like, I'm like, bro, show up. Show out. Make everything perfect. Because I'm the only person you have to do it for. I have to be perfect for every out there. And I show up every day. I don't take time off. Why? Because I, because I literally care about every. Person. But as startling as what allegedly happened behind closed doors may be, had the truth about Dr. Kenny always been out there for those who knew what to look for? Well, in light of the allegations, content Dr. Kenny had publicly posted online certainly didn't make him look innocent. He says, um, I would give anything for a pretty smile besides money, lol, because I'm broke. Um, so yeah, if you're out there, um, hit me up and I'll fix you up. In fact, the dentist's virtual footprint was littered with footage of him objectifying. So I'm sitting here in this dressing room. My wife caught me zooming in on this one chick's teeth. There was no way to defend myself. I don't care how nice those teeth were. Disrespecting. When we give you a present, you have yes. to. Have yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, you my bucket say. list of 90 year olds. Propositioning. Can I get under the blanket with you? It's cold. It's cold? Oh no, I'll warm you back up. Can I snuggle with you under the blanket? Touching. All right, give me a hug. You did shoe. good. I <laughs> but I am going to still give you a hug. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Everything needs love. Everything needs love. <laughs> <laughs> Every, whoa. Everything, Everything needs, love. needs love, okay. And degrading his female patients. Why are your teeth so ugly? No, they didn't. They just kind of snuck you in yeah. through the back because you're not you're not good looking enough to come through the front. No. Yeah, those are some bad jokes that you're just rolling with. <laughs> how true are how true are they? What kind of boyfriends do you get? Boyfriends. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend? Yeah, my, my work is nice. I make really ugly girls pretty. And while these patients might not have directly expressed that Dr. Kenny had made them uncomfortable, according to one-star reviews of Smile Again Dental, various clients left the practice feeling humiliated and less of a human being after coming to the dentist at rock bottom only to be kicked while they were down. And there was one celebrity that could sympathize. Four-time Grammy Award-nominated singer Jewel spent the 90s being harassed for her teeth. And as this content from Dr. Kenny flooded TikTok, the artist felt compelled to defend those patients. The 
objectification and humiliation that this Dr. Kenny Smiles has subjected these poor women to makes me so upset. It makes me so viscerally angry. The amount of shame and desire you have about wanting to fix something and so you put up with like awful behavior, especially when this guy has normalized it as if he's being funny. It's not funny. It's even members of Dr. Kenny's staff were subjected to this behavior from their boss, whether it was jokes that didn't belong in a workplace environment. Diana is like the worst of all that could have been doing it on you, so. She likes Dr. Cole. I know, she just likes, she just assumes that because she likes that much, she likes it that big, that everyone else likes Don't it. Don't even start, you always make it weird. She's adorable, I'm gonna take her home and squeeze her. <laughs> <laughs> She's been working with you too long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> or gifts that had no business coming from their boss. Let's go ahead and hold it and just come out your mouth. No, it's not dirty at all. Very, very nice. Open your eyes so we can, and you can look. let alone their father. Well, it actually goes in and out. Yeah. Do you know what that second part is for? Yes. When you that part goes up. That second. <laughs> Dr. Kenny even appeared to push boundaries with his daughter. I need to close up of her suckle. Oh, <laughs> What's for? Dude, What's it I don't want to freaking talk about this. That's disgusting. What do you think it's used for? I have no idea! And while they might not have been fond of dear old dad's dirty jokes, when it came to his more offensive comedic stylings... And there's an Asian woman that comes to his office to get her teeth done, and he calls her a mail-in bride. Are you happy? Do you speak English? Yes. Like father, like daughter. History was my worst subject, if you guys didn't know. Who else besides the Indian? Who else besides the Indians do you think, if it wasn't the Indians, that we were fighting? Okay. Them dang illegals. <laughs> Don't post that. I'll get hate. I also said in the last thing you posted. All the time. And as it turned out, like wife too. Wearing a mask or scrubs, they are very pressed about that. Oh what? I need masks out of this. The lady at the store was like. What are you making? And I'm like, I'm making masks. And she started laughing. She goes, are you serious? And I go, yeah, I really am. I go, there's no no specifications on what we're supposed to make, what they're supposed to be. We just have to have stupid stuff on our face. But was Dr. Kenny's family sticking by him through recent allegations? Well, whether it was one too many anonymous sources or a humiliation too public to come back from. I've discovered Kevin. First of all, he's got his wedding ring. <laughs> he's got his wedding ring on in his Tinder profile. Second of all, who's Kevin? Who is Kevin? Third of all, 34. Weren't you born in 1979, sir? By September 28th, enough was enough for Dr. Kenny's wife, Anna, who filed for divorce. After speaking with quite a few people who are very close to the family, it seemed Anna did not realize how deep things went with her husband. A lot of sources close to the family say that Anna is an incredibly sweet woman and has put up with a lot of Kenny's throughout their relationship and their children have faced from Kenny as well, which I fully believe if he's behaving this way at work, I can't imagine how he's behaving at home. But as the internet continued to examine Dr. Kenny's content under a microscope, something unexpected came into clear focus, the faults in the dentist's work. One alleged former patient claimed Dr. Kenny refused to finish her teeth or refund her after he shaved her four front teeth down to barely anything resulting in a less than enticing before and after. I am honestly in so much shock and horror over the things I'm hearing. I think that we are dealing with like a literal psychopath and I don't say that lightly, like I'm, I'm, I, I mean a literal psychopath. Kenny has also been accused of stealing the work of other dentists, often ones that worked outside of the country and advertising it as his own. According to multiple dental professionals that I've spoken with over the past few days, this is consistent behavior from Dr. Kenny. He regularly steals people's work and posts it as if it's his. In fact, according to fellow dentist Dr. Aaron Carmian, Dr. Kenny had built quite a reputation in the field. 
The guy has a rap sheet of infractions within the dental field dating a decade ago. There's a, there's a heavy pattern going on with this guy. I told my wife years ago, I said, I don't know when this guy's gonna lose his license, but he's gonna lose it because he is likely the most unethical doctor that in, in my profession that I've ever seen or heard of. And when it came to Dr. Kenny's alleged victims, dentist Dr. Miguel Ortiz had a generous offer. We have put together a team of professionals, I am gonna be in that team, to treat the patients who allegedly were as for the first person they plan to help, well, that was someone you might remember. Hello, my name is Annalie. I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much to Dr. Ortiz and the team of doctors that he's put together for me. But it seemed Dr. Kenny had his own methods for silencing his critics. See, by early October, Dr. Kenny launched a lawsuit against Dr. Ortiz for business disparagement after he felt ambushed by his fellow dentist during an Instagram Live in June, where, by questioning Kenny's ethics, Dr. Ortiz embarrassed him to a national audience. Dr. Kenny claims this hurt his business and is asking for $250,000 to $1 million in monetary relief. This is his second time suing a dentist after suing Dr. Shelby Comer for defamation and business disparagement in 2020. The suit was dismissed in 2021. Becca Day was also hit with legal action for her coverage of the scandal in the form of a cease and desist. Very recently, it has come to my attention that a woman who identifies herself as Becca Day is blasting my clients on TikTok unrelentingly with no regard for the truth or falsity of her statements. Although some of her points may have some merit, many are blatantly false and causing significant loss. Am I causing significant loss or is me reposting public information that you have posted causing significant loss? Near the end of October, Becca reminded viewers that Dr. Kenny's 2022 malpractice case is going to court. As for the other allegations against the dentist, well... I am not at liberty to share any other ongoing cases or any other information going on with Dr. Kenny at this moment, but this is not the only case going on with Dr. Kenny right now. I can say that. But what does Kenny have to say to the allegations against him? When asked for a statement by NBC, Kenny sent an email that read, I have staff who help handle my social media. The character I play both online and in my office has been something I have used to break the tension of a stressful experience. And unfortunately, sometimes people who don't have full context feel like I've crossed the line and it's their right to have their own opinions. I respect that right. He went on to claim that a few comments had been blown out of proportion and that the current lawsuit against him was based on a false accusation. However, when a follower reached out to Dr. Kenny to see how he was holding up amid the backlash, the dentist allegedly wasn't so convincing when it came to his innocence. I'm really hoping this is a case of you made the wrong person mad, at least for you in your career's case the woman wrote before she learned the full extent of the allegations. Let's pray, but I don't see this ending well. Life lessons, Dr. Kenny allegedly responded. Most all of it have some truth, but very twisted to be much worse than it really should be considered. But I have enough culpability for people not to be in my corner. I know for a fact that his lawyer, who happens to be a lawyer of a disgraced United States president, is crying in the corner, rocking back and forth right now because why would you admit this to a stranger on the internet? Like, <laughs> If you've witnessed or experienced malpractice at the hands of a dental professional, the power is in your hands to file a complaint to your state or city's local dental association. And if you were a victim of Dr. Kenny Smiles, don't hesitate to file a complaint with the Texas State Board of Dental Examiners to help prevent what happened to you from ever happening to another patient again. If the allegations against Dr. Kenny are true, the dentist doesn't just pose a danger to his field, but to every patient he comes in contact with. He is a pre. He preys on younger women. He has them in vulnerable situations. And while there was a time when Dr. Kenny could bounce back from infraction after infraction and seemingly get away with anything. Damn, you've had worse things in your mouth. No, I don't think so. With the number of sources that have come forward, well, it looks like karma might still catch up to the dentist yet. Due to the ungodly amount of arrogance that this man possesses, I strongly believe that Dr. Kenny thinks this whole situation will go away similar to his other transgressions in the past. But unfortunately for Dr. Kenny, I have a feeling that this is just the tip of the iceberg. People like you don't get happy ever afters. People like you live in misery their whole life and you really need to get a grip on life. We're not going to let our profession, but our patient, be harmed by 
behavior is not going to be tolerated in our profession. Not only we're going to help, but we are going to make this hurt. This is the story of Dr. Kenny Smiles, the dentist who allegedly changed lives, one unsolicited message, comment, and touch at a time.